Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Mechanical Mastery and getting ready to hook up my fission reactor and steam turbine because, well, it seems like it'd be a good idea. Now, double checking, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, sinks are not in the pack. We don't have PAMs, so I don't have GD Infinite Water. Um, something I probably should have checked a long time ago, but oh well. So trying to remember how to build this thing and okay nope okay i was wondering if maybe aiden had taken a uh, tip from uh create dang it i made it so that you could extend the shaft up just by clicking on it and nope oh, what the that was a quirk thing at that point all right uh, let's see. That should be good there, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and get our rotational complex on top of this. We need... Was it the saturating condensers? It might have been. I know I need one of these up here for now. Um, let me double check here real quick. Pressure dispersers are what I need around... So not you. Here, send me that. And I do have a bunch of these, so I just forgot to grab them because I just overlooked them, I think. All right, so you guys go around this rotational complex. Whoop, not there though. And we need our turbine rotors or blades here. There we go. There's our wonderful turbine. Uh, let's see, probably just do five for now. You know, actually, here, let's do it. You're still not going to connect, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, you know, three is probably good, actually. You don't really need a lot of the electromagnetic coils per... As long as they're all touching each other, and yeah. You know what, I, I'll go ahead and just do the plus sign. I've done it before, okay. Go ahead and place all sorts of weird on me there. Just the te texture isn't connecting, but it should be fine. So, uh, let's see. Pressure resistant, okay. Yeah, industrial turbine. There's our disperser, condenser. Any arrangement above your rotational complex, okay. So what I could do is just four of these for now. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make my turbine a little bit taller. Uh, yeah, let's just go another block higher, I think. Go, and then I can get my condensers up here. Uh, let's see. You're not needed. Placed on the level or above the rotational complex. Okay. So starting here, I think I'm going to need like three more. Oh no, more than three more of these, but yeah. Need 12 more of these. Okay. Uh, you. Okay, fine. I think I'm done with the casing, so I don't worry too much about it. There we go. There's our 12. And like so. There we go. This is pretty much all going to be glass. And I think at this point, I can go ahead and seal this thing up.
And I, oh, <laughs> yeah. Boom. We have a valid turbine. Uh, let's see, flow rate doesn't say. We can go ahead and tell it to dump excess, which is probably what we're going to want to do when we're getting this thing figured out. Max flow of, <laughs> wow, 1 million millibuckets per tick. Dang, that's, uh, that's going to be a tall order, I think, actually. So this turbine should last us for a while. Now... I need mechanical pipes. I need the good ones. Uh, so we need you. Let's try that. And we're going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade. And we're going to go all the way to ultimate. And so you are, at this point, that's right, steam is a gas, isn't it? Dang it. You going to hook to here, though? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. So I need to hook this up to there. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Just hook it like that. This is going to be the water return from the turbine into our reactor. And so actually I need pressurized tubes. Uh, these things instead. Because, well, steam's probably a gas, right? At least as far as mechanism is concerned it is. And I'm going to hook you up. Yep, see, like it hooked right up to that. Uh, I'll go over the color coding in a second here. Hopefully that'll work. Um, so green is input. And this is both for fuel and for uh, water. Yellow is our waste output. And cyan is our steam output, coolant output. Because you can also use uh, liquid sodium for these as well. Which works. Uh, how many blaze cakes do we have going right now anyway? Let me off. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Number's still going up. Cool. All right. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I had the right amount of chickens over there, but apparently it works. Because I think our slow spot is still... Yeah. Uh, still sugar is what is slowing everything down. All right. And so I need to get fuel over here, and then I need to get the waste out of here. Which, now if I look at pressurized tubes, gases, okay. So I'm probably going to want the mechanical pipes. Uh, waste, right. Just need probably one of these for now. Okay, cool. I did make sure to leave myself enough room. So we're going to... Uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and use the ultimates that I got on me. Here we go. Have that come out. And this is just going to be a buffer for now. Um, right. You... Don't want to connect, huh? At least tell me you don't... Okay. Hmm. Well, actually, hear me first. Remember correctly, you can only input and output the top or bottom of these things. Yeah, see, pressurized tubes do it. Okay. So is the tube going to be a thing over here instead of the pipes? 
Yep, that's it. Okay. So we'll just do that instead. There we go. Wouldn't think of, you know, radioactive waste being a gas, but, you know, there we are. And I did not grab this back. There we go. And boom, there we go. So now I just need to get fuel into this thing, and then I can, well, and <laughs> and water. <laughs> water is going to be very important. So let, let's not forget the water, right? All right, wool is you. Blue wool is going to be you. Ender tank is you. There we go. For now, you can sit here. And yeah, that's going to take a hot minute to, uh, to fill up. <laughs> These things hold a stupid amount of uh, everything really. So you, my friend, right here, right? Okay. Uh, why did you stop now? You're good. You. Sulfuric acid. Okay. Which comes from here. Oh, okay. I see the problem. This thing's not getting coal fast enough to produce the sulfur that is needed for everything. And yeah, it's sending literally one at a time here because I got a, a, a low module in here. Well, let's go ahead and pull this out. Grab you. And say, people module. You know, it's fine. Cause just do that. Then you into this. To here. And we want our pressurized reaction chamber, right? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Now we got coal. And it's staying right about where I want it. Awesome. So you're back to running again. Oh yeah, look at that. You are filling up, okay. I was taking, keep an eye on everything else here at this point. We should be okay. And this is an ultimate, so it'll hold 8,000 buckets. We've got 464 in there now. Uh, this is empty, though. Because we're still filling up our uh, reactor coolant here. That's going to take a bit. Not really a problem though. Uh, let's go here to end game. Uh, I'm doing this to get a head start on antimatter. Because, yeah, we're really going to need to work with that. All right, so you are. Gotcha. Okay, so. Oh, not that. That. There we go. Not you. Uh, let's see, I can actually get rid of that now. And probably that. Right. And I need you for the extended crafting stuff. Okay. Bit of a given there, right? Um, okay, that's right. I've got my food in here. I was going to have a quick snack and I completely forgot. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's doing fairly quick. Most of that water is actually just coming from these two pumps over here, though. They are max upgraded, though. I wonder. All right, let's go and cable. All right, we do have some advanced, so let's go ahead then and make those elite. Ultimate. It's probably overkill, but eh, I don't care. Uh, pumps. Uh, let's see these. Then you. And of course, you know, mechanism machines don't stack at all, so. All right, let's at least get these facing the right way. Uh, wrench mode. Oh, actually, no. Rotate. Are you... Being... Okay. So, let's go ahead and get our cables down. Get our mechanical pipes down. There we go. And so, and I can upgrade these four pumps I just added in to make them even faster, but for right now we might be doing okay. Hey, cool, just ate. Now you are full. So we'll take this out of here. This pipe is full as well. Uh, I do probably do not want this on dumping excess. Oh, is that going to be for the power or is that going to be for the steam. Also, I need some sort of power tap on this thing, don't I? Completely forgot about the power tap. Um, can't remember if you can actually just like hook up to it anywhere or what. Oh, there should be an easy way to find that out. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our bag of many things and... Nope. I need a plug. Nope. Didn't think so. Okay. Ah, uh, power to... So that's the question now, right? Is how do I get power out of this thing? Because like the fusion reactor is basically, it, it runs or makes uh, steam. And a valve maybe? Energy and steam. Okay, so just need another valve. Not a problem. And generators. There we go. So how are you doing? Yeah, that's really slow. Uh, you're full now, though. So it is 
This thing here running out of power that is our issue. It's running at max speed. Uh, but it's not getting enough power to run everything. Okay. Probably because it's just basic cables down there. All right, let's take care of that. We'll come down here, and we're just going to give that a whack. And that, and that should upgrade all of those, okay. Boom, boom. Oh, see, that just screwed it up. Dang it. Oh, hey, it actually... Nice, they, Brayden fixed the, uh, or Aiden, not Brayden. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. So mechanism fixed the, the logic on how upgrades are applied to cables. Sweet. Because this one was an elite. I clicked over here and there was ultimates in the way and it still upgraded that, which is awesome. Now, here's a question. How you doing? Oh, you're, you're caught up. Okay. Come over here. Wow, really? Everything's idle now? Okay, what just happened? Is it the coal again? Wow. It is. Now it's building back up again. Are you upgraded? You should be. Yeah, you are. Okay. That's still going to take quite a bit of time to uh, to get done, isn't it? It's the sulfuric acid line. That's the issue. Which is keeping at least one in here pretty much at all times. So not bad. What happened with the coal, though? Why was that empty? That was weird. Should have not done that. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this line run. Is it automatically? No, okay, it's just the greenish tint was from a cobblestone underneath. Got it. There. And for now, configurator, thank you. And it's empty. Uh, as soon as I turned it to output, it's just like, okay, we're done here. 80,000 millibuckets of fuel in here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to here. Our burn rate is at 0 0.1. 0 0.01. Jesus. Wow, that is loud all of a sudden. Holy crap. And you can't muffler this machine. Why is it so damn loud? Wow, we're producing so little waste right now with this thing that it's actually decaying. Yep, and it's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, let's put it to 0 0.1 then. So it can actually do something. Temperature is holding steady. Very good. We are actually getting steam in here. And it's currently producing 2,800 RF a tick. So, doing good there. Uh, these are full of water, so. Blades 10 limiting, vents 36 limiting, okay. So it could be better. 
Max production, 1.64 million forge energy. Uh, let's see. And it's balanced out. Look at that. It's producing without any problems right now. Your heat is not moving. Very good. How's our water doing, though? Water is holding steady. Okay. Looks like we're in balance. So this would be fine as is without any problems. We just let it run. Um, if we come over to here now, we are making nuclear waste. Okay. Eh, not too bad, really. Okay, let's check on, well, this pipe here. Mm, it's going to be kind of hard to tell if we're actually producing enough. Uh, nuclear fuel or not, because it produces like one bucket at a time. So. Hey, we're up to 110 millibuckets, though. All right. Um, yeah, actually, that all got together quicker than I thought it would. But now I am uh, starting to produce, you know, nuclear waste, which is awesome. We are going to need to step this up a bit. So, two ways of doing that. One is I can modify this reactor. And now it's producing twice as fast. How are you holding up? You are currently dropping right now. Kind of. It looks like it just stabilized out. Okay. And look how slow our turbine is running. This reactor can do so much more. Or the turbine. But now we're producing 5,700 RPTIC. Um, should be running twice as fast on this night. Oh yeah, that's definitely faster. At this point, my main roadblock is actually going to be how fast I'm producing fuel and how fast can we move water and steam with ultimate pipes. Okay, doing good. Oh yeah, it's definitely holding steady there. Producing 8,500 RF attack right now. 85.59. Not bad. And I'm going to need probably a thousand buckets or so nuclear waste. And we're almost a half a, a, a bucket. So. Me. Actually, I can check that by looking at this. You know, it's looking like we're producing more fuel than we're using still. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. This is a nuclear reactor, though. You do not, like, just ramp it up extremely quick on the, everything else, so. Yeah, looks like you're doing good. Yep, doing all right there as well. Okay. And this should still be fine, right? Hmm, yep. Yeah, we're doing good. And... Yeah, I mean, everything's burning just perfectly. We are running at 0 0.4 right now. This thing will go up to 10.0. So, yeah, the main limiter is actually just how much coolant you can move through the reactor as to how effective it can be. And honestly, one of the main limiters is how fast you can transport steam. But hey, our turbine's actually spinning faster now, which is cool. Uh, one thing to worry about is if this thing it fills up on power, it will shut off the turbine. So it does not avoid excess power, which I think is just not great. 
But, you know, what can you do, really, right? How are we doing on mechanical essences over here? Uh, we've got 1,200 yellows. Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, 19 stacks of improved mechanical essence so far. You know, I think we're doing okay on that. Now, if this thing does, you know, melt down, full disclosure, I am going to use a cheat code to get rid of the radiation. It's either that or I have to pick up and move literally everything, or... Just go off somewhere to the distance and AFK for like a week. And it's not like I'm on a server where I can let it just run and run and run until the radiation dissipates. Yeah, no, we're uh, doing all right, really. And so we have, what, two buckets now? Just shy of two. Okay, so I think this is a good rate for me for right now. I even love how it actually glows with that Cherenkov radiation. It's awesome. Good touch there. Really good touch. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, I'm probably not going to tweak with this a whole lot. Now that I have this one running, um, antimatter right, is something we have to worry about. This stuff is a pain. Antimatter pellets is a chemical crystallizer with one bucket of antimatter per. And for that, we need the SPS, the supercritical phase shifter, and 1,000 millibuckets of polonium equals one millibucket of antimatter. So we're going to need an absolutely massive fission reactor. Which means we're going to need an absolutely massive turbine. How's our power doing anyway? Oh, you're full. Okay. I went ahead and made myself a gargantuan flux storage over here. Uh, I could probably shut these off by now. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I just stopped producing uh, 72,000 RF a tick right there for a second. So, yeah. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.